Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 17 beta three released today to developers on all iOS 17 supported devices. iOS 17 beta three is out to developers and soon to public beta testers with a release this week or early next week. And it released at the same time everywhere around the world and is also available on the iPhone 10 R 10 S and newer up to the 14 and 14 pro max. Now, Apple also released iPad OS 17 beta three, watch OS 10 beta three, Mac OS 14 beta three TV OS and HomePod OS 17 beta three. And also there could be updates soon to vision OS as well as studio display 17. Now, as far as the build number, let's go to settings, then we'll go to general, then about, and you can see the build number is 21A5277H. This is the latest build, which could be the same exact build that's released to public beta testers. As far as a modem update, we do have a new modem update going from version 2.04.00 to version 2.04.01. This could help with overall connectivity or just some small refinements here and there. Now, as far as new features and changes, the first thing has to do with music. If we go into the music app, give it a second to load, we can just select maybe a recently played song or album here. If we go into that, we'll go into this one. Then we tap the three dots next to the song. And at the top, we now have a new option for credits. We can view the credits. And as you can see here, it tells the lyrics here at the top shows performing artists as well as composition and lyrics production and engineering and available audio quality at the very bottom. So this is great. It's giving more and more information in Apple music and something they added. I've seen some people say that they'll leave title in order just to use this feature since it's already here with more songs on Apple music. Let me know what you think of that feature in the comments below. Now, if we go into messages, there's a small change. That's nice. And within messages, we have our new menu at the bottom here on the left. But one thing they've changed is photos photos now shows the last photo that you used. So you'll see there's the benchmark scores. We'll talk about a little bit later before on beta two on the left here, it was just a generic icon. Now it's your last photo used within the health app. They've updated this. So if we go into browse, we go to mental well-being. scroll down, you'll see past 30 days now shows a state of mind before it was showing this where you just have the past 30 days or different time frames and it's not available. It showed sleep before, but not mental well-being. They've also updated the log files when you actually add your current status for mental well-being. So if we go into this and maybe log a new status of this log an emotion or mood, let's do the same on the other one. You'll see here, the overall tone is a little bit different. If we hit next, you'll see the overall colors have changed quite a bit from a blue to more of a green color. So we'll just move this to very pleasant. And as we do, the overall colors have changed quite a bit. If we hit next, we can put in how we feel surprised, amazed, excited, joyful. We'll hit next. And then again, are different things that are impacting this. Now it's saying, would you like reminders to log turn on reminders? So if you don't have that on already, you can actually turn that on to go along with this. We can also adjust the schedule of when it reminds us like we saw with beta two. However, I didn't mention this in the beta two videos as I wasn't aware of it. So if we tap our icon in the upper right here under summary, go to notifications, go to mental well-being, we can fully adjust when we want it to remind us to log our mental well-being. You'll see it's there with beta two. And if you have an Apple watch paired, it will also show manage mindfulness in Apple watch app. Weather gets an update. If we go into weather, you'll see here, it looks pretty much the same right now, but if we scroll down and we tap on the map here under the map, we have a new wind map option that it says. So get detailed looks at wind speed and direction. So we can go into this and go to wind and see the different wind speed. It's currently two mile per hour where I live and that's been updated. There's also an update to the UI for air quality index. So you'll see air quality here. If we take a look at it on beta two, you'll see it just looks a little bit different. It's a little bit larger on here as I have larger text, but they've actually changed the overall layout of it where they've put the text under the air quality where it's a small change, but nothing huge. If we go into photos under photos, go down to recently deleted under recently deleted. Once you've logged in, you'll see, we have all of our different photos here. If we want to delete them, we can select a bunch of them. And now we have a three dot menu in the bottom, right? Tap on this and we can now recover or delete them. This is updated from before. So with beta two, maybe we'll select the same thing here. 
We'll just select a bunch. You'll see it was on the bottom with delete and recover. Now it's a separate menu. If we go into settings, scroll down to accessibility, and then scroll down to personal voice, which is a new feature of iOS 17. With beta two, if we previously recorded a personal voice, it disappeared. They've brought it back with beta three. I didn't have to re-record this and we still have the new update where you no longer have 15 minutes to record it, but rather 150 sentences or phrases. So that's been updated. You can go into it. You'll see here, I'll have to try face ID. We can go into it. You'll see my voice recording here, and then you can fully use this and share it across devices. So I'm glad they've updated this where they've brought that back. Now, if we go into the home app, they've updated this. So if we go into home, the first time you go into it, you'll have a new splash screen, as you can see here, where it says accessory control widgets, new look and feel and activity history. Within this, they've updated a few UI elements. So after the splash screen, if we go into this, You'll see here, we'll go out of this menu, which I was in before. If we scroll down and maybe we have different lights here that allow you to change the color. If we go into this, the actual menu has changed. So just tap on it. You can see you can turn that on or off. And if we look at it from the previous beta, it looks a little different. So if I turn it on, it will turn on, but the color selection tool is a little different. So we have pre-selected colors and then we have our little color wheel here where we can select different colors. Now we can tap off of this and then we're out of it. Now I was having an issue exiting this. It seems to be a bit buggy, but it is working now. Also, some people are seeing home activity showing as an option in beta three. I'm actually not showing this, but some people are seeing it within their settings. So if we go into settings within settings under safety and security, some are actually seeing that as an option. So let me know if you have that option in the comments below with iOS 17 beta two, Apple added the new name drop and airdrop feature where you can bring your iPhone close to another running iOS 17 beta two or newer, and it will instantly and sort of have a really nice animation air dropping something over to it. However, However, the actual transfer was very slow. So if we go into photos and then maybe go to here, we'll just airdrop this, bring it close. It should actually send just like that very simply. And it's very fast. It's already sent and ready to go before. Sometimes this transfer was really slow. So they've definitely sped that up this time around. Now also let's take a look at the release notes. Now, before when I checked this, they weren't updated. So let's see if they they're updated. Now we'll go into feedback and within feedback in the inbox, Apple has still not updated it with iOS 17 beta three. They sometimes take hours to actually update this. So we'll have to take a look at that in a future video as they haven't updated it. And it's been out for a few hours at this point. So we'll see any different bugs and issues there. And of course I'll link that in the description. So once it's live, you can check it out. However, as far as resolved issues, I've only heard of one for sure that seems to be resolved. And that's when you're in Safari. If we go into Safari, people who are playing an HDR video, were seeing odd colors. Sometimes this has been resolved. The same was true with some photos. So if you're playing an HDR video that should be fixed. However, there are still some bugs that remain. Initially, I thought they fixed the issue with the notification bug, but it seems they haven't fixed this as it just sort of jumps into place and isn't working properly. So that's still there. As far as live wallpaper, many have said that it's been fixed. Maybe I don't have one with enough motion for it to work yet, but it doesn't seem to work. If I go in and create one, it may be working for me this time. As I hit play, it's actually working. So if I add this one, we'll just set it like this. There we go. Swipe it away. We'll lock and unlock, see what happens. And it looks to be working for me this time. So it wasn't working previously for me. As far as iPad OS 17 beta three, I haven't seen anything new specifically to that, but once I find anything new specific to it, I'll be sure to mention it in a follow-up video. As far as overall performance, this is one thing I noticed initially right away when I started using it. And the first thing is, there's a small bug here where I'm missing my actual time and everything else. Let's lock it and unlock it. And there it is. So those statuses have returned my battery life and more, but that seems to be a bug that's new, but as far as overall performance, it's performing really well. I noticed how fast everything is setting wallpapers, going into music, going back out promotion, different things just seem to be much, much faster with beta three. So they've definitely refined it quite a bit with this update. And I think it's much better. As far as the overall heat, well, it is a little bit warm, but it's nothing to be alarmed about as it's not scalding hot like we've had before. It's warm processing background information, and that's completely normal. But that's something that I think 
is going to take a little bit of time as anytime there's a big update, it will process, it will index different things. It will use up different storage. So if we go into storage, some people were concerned about that and you'll see the redesign there. Although there's a small bug there where it's showing more space, but if we go to the bottom, you'll see here, system data is taking up only 2.16 gigabytes and the OS update is only 11.11 .11 gigabytes. So I think most of this they've really refined. I think iOS 17 has fixed a lot of the issues, not just with storage that we had before where it was using excessive amounts, but it's fixed a lot of small issues and speed. I think stability is the focus here. As far as battery life, that will take a few days to measure. However, on iOS 17 beta two, it hasn't been great. I've shown you my battery health before and running iOS 16 betas has been kind of brutal on the battery. I've had to charge it far more than I had to with iOS 15 betas, for example. So I'm down to 92%. And over the last 10 days, I had a really terrible battery. You'll see yesterday, two hours and 42 minutes of screen active time, five hours and 39 minutes of screen idle time. I used 27% of the battery just on the weather widget alone. I noticed this and actually removed it and put it back. I also have background app refresh off, but it's still showing a bunch of background activity that shouldn't really be there. So there's definitely some odd issues here. Hopefully beta three fixes it, but it will take a few days to know. As far as iOS 17 beta three, and if you should install it, well, I would say probably not unless you're on beta two already, I would wait for the public beta as that's supposed to be out very, very soon, usually by the end of this week, or maybe early next week, last week, they released it on the following Monday after beta three, they did a re-release of iOS 16 beta three to developers, which had the same build as iOS 16 public beta one. If you go to beta.apple.com, you can actually sign up for iOS 17 public betas. Now you can sign up here, sign in. If you're already a member, just make sure you have an account. And then when it's out, it should show up in your software update page. So you should be able to go to software update. It will be attached to your iCloud ID, and then you should have your beta updates here. So we'll confirm that once it's released to the public betas though. Now, as far as when to expect iOS 17 beta four, well, probably within a couple of weeks at this point, maybe two more weeks, and then we'll be on a week by week basis. So maybe on the 19th or so also, I would expect iOS 16.6 .6 beta five or RC as soon as tomorrow, we could see that with an RC the following week, and then a final release to the public, maybe on the week of the 16th or 17th during that week, maybe we'll have the public release. Apple hasn't confirmed this, but we're not even sure what's in that update. So we'll have to be sure to check up on that once it's released. As far as the overall benchmarks, let's take a look at those. I told you I ran those earlier. Let's see what they were on beta two as well. And I have the benchmarks from my iPhone 14 pro max on the left, just to show you a comparison from beta two. And on the right with beta three, we had 2,626 for single core, which is the exact same as beta two from multi-core though, we're slightly higher at 6,670 compared to 6,644. So it's improved a little bit. However, that doesn't really mean a whole lot. It definitely feels a lot faster though, just going through it much, much smoother. Like I mentioned before, now I expect we'll find more new features and changes as we continue to take a look at this. It takes a few days to know that. And of course we'll take a look at battery life and more features later this weekend. So be sure to check back for that. Now, if you've found anything I haven't mentioned, be sure to mention it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you there. And of course I'll link this wallpaper in the description. Like I normally do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.